y'all what's up it's Hannah and welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new here today I'm here with my mare blue jeans and I'm going to be showing y'all how I groom her I haven't filmed one of these videos in a while and I've been getting a lot of questions on how to groom a horse so I thought I would film another one for y'all today and I've also been getting asked a lot recently what I keep in my grooming tote so I recently did a what's in my grooming tote video so I will have that link down in the description box for y'all in case you would like to check that out if you enjoyed today's video be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you would like to see more of my future videos you can click on that subscribe button down below and if you turn on the notification bell and comment that you did you will be entered to win a notification shout out here on my youtube channel if y'all enjoy and find this video helpful let's just get started Okay, so I like to start out with a curry comb, and what the curry comb does is we go in circular motions on the horse, and it brings up all of the dirt and oils and everything up to the surface of their coat so we can brush it off. Um, this is a basic rubber curry comb, um, but I have these curry comb gloves that I like to use instead, just because you can use it all over their body, because with this one, you can't really use it like on their face or their legs because they're sensitive. Um, but these you can use all over their body. So I like using these. Um, if you watch my videos, you know that I absolutely love these things. Um, so you just put them on my gloves. And I'll have them linked below in case y'all want to check them out. Also, um, there's nothing wrong with the normal curry comb. I just prefer these. Normally with like a curry comb, you only do their body. You don't do their face or their legs. Um, and then you also have to be careful up here by their withers because those are sensitive also. Um, but with these, you can really control the pressure that you're using, um, and they're not really hard. So I can use these all over their body. So with your curry comb, you're just going to go in circular motion. I normally start right here. And you want to make sure you get in between their front legs. And then with these, like I said, you can go down their legs with them. You just want to be gentle because their legs are more sensitive than the rest of their body. Okay, so as you can probably see right here, it just kind of brings up everything that was on the base of the coat up to the surface so we can brush it all off. And then these hands-on grooming gloves I like to use on their face as well. You just want to be gentle because their faces are sensitive. And then after my curry comb, I like to use a stiff brush, also known as a hard brush. And what this does is it gets all of the things that we brought up to the surface of the coat off of them. And this you're going to use in a short flicking motion. So we're going to start up here and just do short flicking strokes. And this is just going to get off everything we got up pretty much. And this I can use on her forearms, but um, down here, like past her knees, I'll use a soft brush. Um, and I also use a soft brush on her face, so I don't use this skinny brush. Okay, and then this is my soft brush, also known as a body brush, and these bristles are softer and they're also shorter. Um, these are also called finishing brushes because it helps bring out like the shine in your horse's coat as well. These are soft, so I can use them on her face and her legs and everywhere else. So this I'll take on her face, 
And I also have like a face brush that's specially made for her face um, that looks like this. And it's even softer than this. Um, but normally I just use this on her entire body. Um, this kind of depends on what I'm doing. And then this you're going to use in long strokes and this is also going to help get off what the hard brush did not so i'm just gonna go in long stroke and then you can use this all down that leg And anytime you're going down your horse's leg like that, you, you want to make sure that they know that you're there. So you want to keep your hand on them as you're going down. So just keep your hand on them coming up and coming down. Especially if you're working with a new horse, you don't want to be real jumpy or anything like that. Um, so yeah, after the body brush, um, I'll normally use a hoof pick. Um, this hoof pick has the little brush on it. Um, and then they also have the normal ones, but um, I like the one with the brush. So again, I'm gonna run my hand down to let her know I'm coming. Good girl. Um, and when you're holding your horse's hoof, you don't wanna hold like up here, you wanna hold the outside of the hoof wall. Um, and her, she's due for a trim, so just ignore that. But, um, let me see. Normally I like to brush it off a little bit first. No ma'am. And this V shape in the middle is the frog. And that is sensitive. So, and but there are these grooves um, on the sides of the frog that we want to pick out. So I'm just gonna go beside the frog and pick down just like that. And then I can go. Here. Like that. Good girl. And then you want to put it down really gently. And then this time of year, I'll normally finish off with some flash spray. This is the Farnham Endure Flash Spray, it's one of my favorites. Um, so I'll just spray that. And then with her mane and tail, normally um, I will put it in braids, but I'm not doing that today. Um, but you just want to make sure when you're combing their mane and tail that you start from the bottom like you would with your own hair to try not to pull it out. Um, and then I also like to use detangular spray as well. Um, and normally I just make my own detangular spray with um, conditioner and water. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so yeah, that is how I groom blue jeans. There are different tools that you can use and different ways that people like to do it, but this is just how I like to do it. I hope this video was helpful for y'all and that you enjoyed it. Hold on a minute. And before I go, I'm going to go ahead and give my notification shout out. I'm going to have it up there on the screen. And it says, I've been watching your videos for years too. I can't seem to get away from them. I love you so, so much. Oh my gosh, I love you so much too. And I thank you so very much for all of your support. It means so, so very much to me. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end today's video here. But I love and appreciate y'all so very much. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll see y'all really soon with another one. Bye. All right, fat girl. Let's go out to the pasture now. Hold on.